Hi everybody, I'm Peanut, and uh, I'm the girl in the boxer documentary with the yellow shirt, who gave him the letter, and I'm also somebody who's been around the StarCraft scene for some time now, for a couple years, and this has been a very exciting day for me. Today was when I first watched the documentary, and um, well, I already kind of knew that I was in it, um, but I didn't know what what exactly kind of the context would be and like all the stuff that Boxer said afterwards. Um, so it's been kind of crazy today, and I'm making this video um, both for posterity, because I want to remember this, and because I have something to say. So here we go. So this is something, well, meeting Boxer was something I'd been hoping for for a long time, ever since I, I was in Korea in the summer of 2008, and I uh, really immersed myself in the StarCraft scene and sort of discovered it, um, you know, personally. And uh, unfortunately, Boxer back then was uh, in the Air Force, so I couldn't actually meet him face to face. But I knew that that was something I wanted to do. Um, I did go around and meet a lot of other pro gamers, and actually, I got into uh, a Korean newspaper with Jay Dong, which is pretty great. <laughs> it's kind of crazy, but anyway, it was a lot of fun. Um, and uh, then, you know, I, I was. I wanted to go to BlizzCon this past year, and I found out uh, maybe like 10 days before that Boxer was going to be there, and there was just there was just something that told me you have to get ready for this, and and, and I knew that he, I knew that there was going to be a lot of people who wanted to see him there, but I knew that I wanted to tell him something, and I knew that I had to prepare that something, and I had to be I had to be ready, and um. When the time came, I would have to make myself heard. So what I did was about a week before BlizzCon, I sort of wrote um, a little speech, and I talked to my mom, who's uh, an immigrant from Korea. I was born in the United States. But so I talked with her and sort of worked with her to translate it. And um, let's see. Uh, I don't have the translation on hand right now. Um, I have it down on my Team Liquid blog. Um, but yeah, it was basically like, I, I I wrote down, you know, that two years ago, when I was in college, I helped start the Harvard StarCraft team with some friends, and just like Boxer Star helped, or started the Air Force team in Korea, and that I really admired him, and um, I thought he was a really unique player, and his his achievements and his accomplishments in StarCraft really make me proud to be Korean, ethnic with Korean, and that I really hoped that he would have uh, that I get, I, I thought he would, I hoped he would have a bright future. I really, I really wish that all for him. Um, so my mom helped me write this. She kind of had no idea. She, I was trying to, I was trying to describe to her exactly who this person was and what I was trying to say and what I was trying to convey. And she was like, okay, but I don't think she really got it. Um, anyway, and then, uh, I got to BlizzCon and I was there, like in the front row of, uh, the show match. And I had that chance, and I was like the second to last person he actually talked to, um, and I really kind of had to, to fight my way up there. But I, you know, I, I thought I was gonna like memorize this little speech and like tell him, but I was just like I was way too nervous, and I was shaking. You could see him in the documentary that I'm shaking, and I realized that I wouldn't be able, to, I, I wouldn't be able to say it from memory, so I just held it out in front of me, and I was like, "Here, read along," because my Korean pronunciation is not that good, um, and I really wanted him. To understand what I wanted to say because this wasn't just about you know having Boxer sign something for me or like getting a picture with him or anything I really wanted to say these things to him and I really wanted to tell him that he had made a difference in my life um, and uh, I mean the big part the the big thing that I wanted to get across was like well when I was little I lived in the suburbs um, and I mean Kids would say like, "Oh, are you Chinese?" And I'd be like, "No, I'm not Chinese." And I'd be like, "Oh, are you Japanese?" And I'd be like, "No, I'm not Japanese." And they'd be like, "Well, what are you?" And I'd say, "I'm Korean." And they'd be like, "What's that?" Because back then, you know, 15 years ago or whatever, um, Korea was like it was like you know the Korean War. That's what people knew about Korea. So people didn't really know. Um, and still, I mean, even though Korea is like top 10 in the world's economies. Um, it's still, you know, in most circles, uh, it's just kind of another Asian country that's kind of high tech. I don't know. If you're not in consumer electronics or like cars or whatever, 
you might just be like, oh, Korea, whatever. But in StarCraft, in StarCraft, the world revolves around Korea. And so, um, you know, while I'm very proud to be an uh, American, um, it's, it's also just being part of StarCraft and everything that, that Barca represents in StarCraft, um, has just really given me a new awareness of my cultural heritage in, in a very, very powerful way and in a way that makes me very happy to be what I am. And that's really profoundly affected me. Um, so I really, I wanted to convey this all to him, and I felt like he he probably he probably understood what I was getting at. But like just watching this documentary and seeing what he said after that scene, and how he you know how it really touched him, and and all and how you know the the narrator was saying, oh, this is the greatest compliment. Like that was it was just incredible, and I'm just uh, it, the world seems a little bit less real to me today, but it's in a good way. And uh, I try not, I'm trying not to think about it too hard because then I might start crying. But, um, it, it's just incredible. And watching that whole doc, the, the whole episode and, and seeing the way that Boxer just kind of very calmly and responsibly and gracefully wears this mantle of esports. Like he understands that he is a, in, in many ways esports personified. He is at the head of this movement. He is the pioneer. He's like the Michael Jordan and the Tiger Woods. Um, you know, and like, I don't know, everything <laughs> in one, that's Boxer. And, um, it, it, I mean, it's, it's gotta be something that weighs heavily on him, you know, but it, it's gotta be something he's also tried to make peace with. And I really respect that because, I mean, it, it is very difficult and very humbling to, to stand up and say that like, I have an effect on these people or like, I represent this idea or something like that because like, there'll always be people who, you know, want to criticize you even if they mean well or take you down and be like, oh, the emperor is dead. Like the age of the emperor is over or whatever, um, whatever that might be. And it, it's really hard to stand up in the face of that and that and, and your own very high personal standards. I mean, I'm sure Barsu has very high personal standards and say like, say like, no, like, I have to keep going. I have to be there for my fans. I have to stand up and make myself heard because people are counting on me. And I think that's a lesson that everybody can learn. Like, um, that, it, it, you know, it, even if you don't have, you know, 500,000 fans or whatever, I mean, Boxer had to start somewhere. He had to start in some internet cafe in Seoul somewhere where nobody knew who he was and start playing StarCraft because that's what he believed in. And so, you know, I, I really think you have to, you have to find something that you believe in and just go with it. And just go with it like crazy. And, and, you know, a lot of people are going to tell you that it's not possible and that you're wrong and that, and try to tear you down. And you know what? A lot of the time they might be right. Cause like, um, a lot of people make mistakes and like I, um, tr I've, uh, in StarCraft, I've tried a lot of things and they haven't always, they haven't always succeeded and in life as well. But like you have to try. You have to at least try. Um, because like for whatever you're passionate about, for whatever you believe in, and for whatever you think should be done right now, if not you, then who is going to do it? And if not now, then when is it gonna happen? And I I really think that's something that we can all take away from this. That boxer is someone if boxer can do it, then then like I can do it, then like you can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. We can we can figure out what it is that Find something that we believe in right now and go and try to to make something happen. And um, yeah, that's <laughs> that's something that I've taken away from all of this. And um, I only have like a minute left, but I want to thank Team Liquid and of course uh, thank Boxer and <laughs> thank uh, everybody out there because this is I, I, this day has just made it all worth it. Like. <laughs> I'm so happy. And um I hope I hope that I hope that you're happy too. Okay. okay.